Hi there. Today in this video, I would like to show you guys how to draw floor plans with the Magic Plan application completely for free. Looking at the pricing model of this application, we can see that in free version, we can basically do everything what we want. Uh, create floor plans in unlimited projects and also add some object pictures and another stuff. However, we are unable to export our files into our directory. This option is available in the standard version, which will unfortunately cost us uh, $10 per month. So let's consider what we will need exactly for our purpose. First of all, we will need some decent screenshot of our floor plan, which can be made by smartphone. On our smartphone, we can do some simple edits like crop. Uh, when our floor plan is cropped, then we can import it into the simple vector graphic manipulation software, which can be, for instance, Inkscape. In the Inkscape, we will transfer our image from the raster to the vector one. And afterward, our vector image uh, will be ready to save as a drawing interchange format file manipulated by AutoCAD. Before I start to explain you these steps, let me draw some simple floor plan first. So now we have our floor plan ready. Let me do some simple edits before I import it into the Inkscape software. So now I've got already my floor plan cropped, which is prepared for the export. So let me share this via my email from where I will download it into the directory and import to the Inkscape. Okay, so now I've got my Inkscape software open. And what will I do now? I will import my floor plan into this program. So we can use both an open or an import option. I will use uh, the import. And then uh, let me find where the floor plan is. It's already here. So press open and just go OK with this window. And our image should appear in the program. However, we must be sure that is already placed within the document border, otherwise it won't be saved properly. Uh, to make sure that you avoid it in the future, uh, go to the file and select the document properties from where you will develop the resize page content and resize page to drawing or selection. Then uh, you could see some smallish changes because the border of document has already been hidden by the image. However, this is the minor thing because our pivot thing in this program is to transfer the raster floor plan into the vector uh, floor plan. So in order to do this, uh, we must from the major toolbar, select the path option from where we will press the trace bitmap option. Now the trace bitmap window should be populated from where we should take into account the options available here. The, the most important is the brightness cutoff in order to see how our vector document could look like after the transformation, press the update button. 
and then uh, our future vector image should appear. So in this situation, we see that something is missing here, especially within the door icon, which doesn't come doesn't come out properly. So uh, what we should do now, we should increase our threshold because when the threshold of brightness cutoff is lower, then we are losing some elements relevant for our uh, work. So let me lift up the threshold to 0 0.8 and press update. Then you see the difference. The doors are coming fine now. So uh, we can press OK and see the changes uh, on our image. Namely, we can see that our image is already bold. That's the first impression. However, this is driven by two separate images which are overlapped already because we already created a vector image of our floor plan. So um, press OK, um, close this window, and then we must pull over some, we must pull over this um, vector image like I did uh, now and uh, consider what we exactly need for our future work, what we don't need. I believe that we need a pure floor plan instead of a full version with text. So in order to remove the text, we must select the pointer selection from our sidebar. And then you see that your whole image is turned into the group of point. This multitude of point can be uh, removed can be added. We will remove the text section, which is uh, not needed. And if you are unhappy with the floor plan thickness, you can also change the position of these points, as I'm doing now. However, it's not needed if you don't need to. Now, what we need to do we must remove the raster floor plan because it's not needed anymore. Then select our new vector one and place it within the sheet. So now if you are happy with your work, you can go to the file, press the save as option, select the drawing exchange format designated for the AutoCAD software or similar, and save your file as I'm doing now. So that's it in this step. So now our last step will be opening the floor plan in the AutoCAD software, for instance. So let's do this uh, right now and check is everything all right with our vector floor plan. As you can see, unfortunately, there are some unnecessary lines. However, we can remove them uh, quite quickly using uh, the trim option. Let me do this uh, for you right now. So it looks like our floor plan is pretty much ready. So that's brilliant then. But as you can see, that's only a simple floor plan. So now let's have a look how will it work when we import more complicated floor plans, filling up a whole screenshot area. I've got one prepared. Let me open it. That's the big floor plan. It comes as a template example from the magic plan. Okay, so now we've got a bigger floor plan, which also comes from the magic plan. That's the template floor plan, which covers whole screenshot in the phone. So I did the same. I screenshotted it, edited, and turned into the vector 
floor plan in the Inkscape. However, I skipped this step, but I've got a couple of things to show you. One thing is the elements, which are omnipresent here. So the floor plan is much more detailed. And another, another stuff appearing here is the text, which I told you before to remove um, at the Inkscape stage. Basically, we can do both in Inkscape as well as in AutoCAD. However, if you've got quite a lot elements, it's, to be honest, better to do it in AutoCAD instead of the Inkscape. So uh, let me start, remove some stuff here to make this uh, plan more readable and uh, ready to use for further purposes. Okay, so now, as you can see, we've got our bigger floor plan ready too. I got rid of all unwanted stuff, which we saw at the very beginning. Now it's ready to go. However, it still will be something to tweak up, but I think um, it looks um, very well now. At the summary, I would like to tell you that I'm glad that I could show you this whole process leading to get the floor plans from the magic plan application completely for free. Now, knowing these three basic and important steps at once, you will be able to extract as much floor plans as you want from this application without any trial costs. Thank you for your attention.